I am Anil Kumar and here is solution of question number 8 from the book written by Nelson on calculus. Optimization. A net enclosure for practicing golf is open at one end. Find the dimensions that will minimize the amount of netting needed and give a volume of 144 meter square. So what we have is a net here. Let's say that's the net, right? And uh, let us goes in, right? It's open from this end. So that is the net which I've drawn. And let's say this is the net, right? Okay. So we need to find the minimum areas that will give us minimum cost of netting, right? And we are given the volume occupied by this net. So that volume can help us find a relation between length, width and height of the given net, right? So this uh, practicing net, let us say, has got height of x, right? So it's square, so this will be also x. And let's say the depth here is y. In that case, the area occupied by this will be equals to x square y is the area, right? x square and y is the cross-sectional area. So find the dimension that will minimize the amount of netting needed and give a volume of 144 meter square. So the area is x square multiplied by y will get the volume. So volume for this netting is x times x times y and we are given volume as 144 meter squares. So we could write this as 144 is equals to x square y and from this relation we can write y in terms of x so we can say y is equals to 144 over x square so we have relation between the two variables defined now since we need to maximize the netting we'll find what the surface area is right so let me develop an equation for surface area so let us say surface area a will be equals to the back side of the net, for example, will be x squared. So we'll have x squared plus we have got these three sides. Okay, so we need three sides. We do not need any net in the ground. So we'll take these three sides. Each side area is x times y, right? This is also y. This is also y. So three times x y is the area of the net, right? Now that's the total area. Now we should find this area in terms of variable x. So we can substitute y with 144 over x square. So what we get here is x square plus 3 times x times 144 over x square. That can be simplified and we can write this as x square plus uh, 3 times 144 over over x, right? So over x. So let's multiply this by 3. You can use the calculator. So it is 144 times 3 equals to 432. So we have 432 over x. Now, to find the minimum area, what we can do here is we can find the derivative. So we'll find critical point. That means a prime x should be equal to 0. That will give us the critical number, right? So let's find the critical number now. So for finding critical number, we'll take derivative of this area. So a prime x, the derivative will be 2x minus, so this is in denominator, so minus 432 over x square. So that becomes the derivative. And when you equate this derivative to 0, so you get 0 equals to 2x minus 432 over x square. So the value of x, which is a critical number, can now be calculated. So that should be, so what we get from here is 432 over x square equals to 2x. You can cross multiply and divide by 2. So you get 432 divided by 2 equals to x cube, right? Now, we can divide uh, this and then take the cube root. So from here, we get the value of x. 
the value of x for us is cube root of this, right? So we'll find x as cube root of 432 divided by 2. That means 2 times 2, 2 times 1, and then 216, right? So let's find the cube root of 216 now. Shift this, that's the cube root. 216 equals to, it gives a value of 6. So x is 6 for us. Now once you find x as 6, then you can find what y is. So y will be equals to 144 over 6 square, 36. So we'll divide 144 by 36, that is 6 square. So we get 4, right? Therefore, the dimensions will be, uh, this side will be, the net square is 6 by 6. So our answer will be, it is all in meters, 6 meters by 6 meters by 4 meters. So that is the netting which is going to uh, minimize the cost.